five, a fatal shooting in Vallejo. The suspect, a four-year-old boy. His mom says the child accidentally shot his father. Tonight, investigators are trying to find out what really happened. Only God knows what happened in that house. Ron Ford's Azik Madhun has tonight's top story. They're very nice people. He just shocked me that what happened. Investigators say this is what happened. On Saturday at 4.35 p.m., Vallejo police received a 911 call to respond to a shooting at this residence in the 2900 block of Georgia Street, the home of Carol and Brian Sparks. Carol Sparks made the emergency call and said her four-year-old son accidentally shot and killed her husband. Shortly thereafter, police arrived and found Brian Sparks dead in the living room. Both Mrs. Sparks and her son were taken to the station and interviewed by detectives. The boy was released a few hours later to grandparents. Mrs. Sparks was also released after being questioned. Their neighbors do not know what to think about this. We don't know if the kid did it. We don't know if the mom did it. Nobody knows. Although Mrs. Sparks stated to police her son pulled the trigger, police say some statements made have raised questions about exactly what happened. Police have tested Mrs. Sparks, her son, and the deceased Mr. Sparks for gunshot residue. And an autopsy is underway, which may provide more clues. Also under investigation, whether a four-year-old could shoot a gun. Cron Forest Teresa Estacio talks with some experts. Is it possible for a four-year-old to pick up a handgun such as this one and shoot his father? While police do their investigation, we turn to some experts for some answers of our own. Release an all-steel revolver. Me, Jerry Hall. He is with Bullseye, a gun shop and range in Marin. This is one of many in a line what they call sem He explains that there are two different types of handguns. Police are not releasing the details about which type was used in Saturday's fatal shooting. Jerry showed me how each one could prove difficult for a child to use. For example... A sliding action to put the bullet into a battery position, which is a firing position. That is not an easy thing to do. It's going to take approximately seven and a half pounds of pressure to pull this trigger. And sure enough, when I try, it was not an easy task. On the other hand, Jerry explained, if the semi-automatic was loaded, a child could certainly fire off a round or two. If this firearm was picked up, that trigger will initiate in about four pounds of pressure. There is also this. Each handgun is heavy, about two pounds for the revolver and three pounds for the semi-automatic. Just think of the weight of a dumbbell in a child's hands and factor that into the equation. And that is without ammunition. Jerry added that no matter what happened, the guns should have been locked up or in a safe far from a child's reach. It is the law. For more on this story, including gun safety, go to our website, Concord.com. And Marin Teresa Estacio Concord.